happen. So what are you dealing with this morning? Where, gosh, is your crew ever going to show up for this? No, no. They, 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 They'll stroll they're in disinvited. Uh, right when we're ready to go to break. Yeah, they, they've, decided, they've decided that getting up 10 minutes earlier to do this it was just too much for them. They couldn't <laughs> handle it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, this morning we're going to talk about uh, Crystal Bauer Socks is on the debut of the Rosie O'Donnell Show yesterday. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Crystal Bauer, talks, Bauer Socks, of course, a hometown girl. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sure what they talked about, but Rosie's been promoting it. I've got the article here. Rosie been excuse me I bet my back Rosie been pr pr uh, promoting it for a while uh, but she uh, begs for a, a new home for a seven-year-old cat Kate Bauer socks Crystal's trying to find a loving new home for Kate because her husband Brian is allergic not Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys but just Brian Wilson so and they're also <laughs> celebrating their one year uh, they're also celebrating their one year wedding anniversary this week so oh that's Aww. exciting yeah. everybody loves Crystal Bauer socks here she, how she's, could you she's not great. How could you not? Oh, uh, she rocks. She rocks. So that's one of the big stories. Uh, of course, but, I know you guys. Uh, how do you feel about Rosie just in general with her own show? I, she's been getting a lot of flack, <laughs> so I, I didn't watch the debut. But we know the last uh, time she was on television there was, on uh, The View, it got pretty heated. Well, and, and, and here's the, I mean, Rosie, uh, I, I don't know. How, what do you say about Rosie? She's, but but here's the thing. You you either love her or you hate her. It's kind of like me. You either love me or you hate me. We're, we're both, we're both uh, Rosie and I are very much alike. Either hate us or you love us. Um, we both are fat, and we both love women. So <laughs> we're, wow. we're both very similar, I guess, when you think about it that way. You know what? I'm not touching that. So I remember, uh, I'm just going to move on to tigers? what I was going to say. How about those tigers, Hold on. Right? But, well, uh, the, oh. I remember oh. grow, when I, back in the 90s, my mother had control of the remote control. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, and you know, she would watch the Rosie O'Donnell show, the one she used to have that was, I think, syndicated. The nice the, version. The nice one. <laughs> it was actually, you could watch that, it. It was, well, and that was a great entertaining wasn't show. Wasn't that when she was competing it, with Ricky Lake? And yeah, the it was. Daytime yeah, but she was the shows. nice one. It was It fun. was the nice it was the nice one, but it was the fake one, obviously, because when she Literally. went off the air, she, you know, she went off the deep end, and, and we saw who she truly was. <laughs> and for all those years, she was just, you know, playing for the camp. But you know, you have to you, that your audience is, you know, stay-at-home moms that you don't want to offend, so you, you're, you know, you can't let it all hang out, as it were, you know. But once, once you're, you're away from that, for those constraints, you can kind of do whatever you want, and, um, and she is who she is. I mean, there you go. You I know, like yeah. her still. I, I know right. what happened. Yeah, I, right. I don't necessarily agree with everything she says, but right. she still makes me laugh. And I didn't watch the debut yesterday, but I don't know. When I whenever I see her in interviews and you know what? We're all on the radio or T V or both uh, as it were. And De definitely we're, we're good we're nice people, but we have moments oh, as yeah. well off hey. air that Hey, look, she's a, she's a polarizing, a she's, a polariz she's, a, she's a polarizing <laughs> figure. You have to give kudos for speaking your mind, and, and you know, it, it is what it is. Well, what right now, we can't give kudos to the Tigers, not to switch switch topics, hey. but I'm supposed to go to the game on Thursday, but that's all right. and it may not happen. But check this out, China. I know you're a Michigan girl. I Michigan, know. as bad as things have been in Michigan the last couple of years, your U of M is undefeated. The Lions are undefeated for the first time in 50 years, yeah, starting wild. five and zero. You know the ti the Tigers are in the playoffs. I mean, it's really not a bad time to be a Michigander for once uh, <laughs> over the last five years. So you know, there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, Andrew, we're running out of time, of course, especially uh, when we get into these conversations. The time flies so fast. I hear you. We'll see you tomorrow at 4:30. Well, 4:26 a.m. I guess. Bright and early. In, uh, your case here. So yeah. Be uh, be ready for more Andrew Z. All right, bye guys. All right, Have a we'll good see one. You later. <laughs> it is, uh